Good morning. Hi everyone. Just gonna check my thing, make sure everybody's on here. Always turn down the wrong volume. That's not the volume I wanted. Says she's live. There she is. Okay. Hello, everybody. Two of you. There's two people on here. So good morning. <laughs> Today I'm joined by shower door and vacuum. <laughs> And I also have a horrible cough, so I'm probably going to try to keep my talking to a minimum. Hi, Angela, Denise, Karen. Good morning, everyone. Stephanie, thank you all for joining today. Hi, Wanda. I have a really bad cold. Yesterday, I spent most of the day sleeping. So I was hoping I'd be able to go live today because, boy, did I have quite a voice yesterday. If I would have gone live yesterday and you all wouldn't have seen my face you probably would have thought someone was subbing for me that's how different I sounded it was crazy hi Terry Kathleen good morning Donna so today starts the 24-hour stamp sale hi Suzanne hi Marty thank you all for the sharing I appreciate it so today only through midnight there are some stamp sets on sale um, the page is listed it's on my blog with all of the stamps and it's also, um, I put a post on here on Facebook as well. So also when I put this live onto YouTube later, or put it onto YouTube, it won't be live then. These are valid through the end of today, which today is October 23rd, 2019. They're valid until midnight. So there's lots of good stamp sets on there. I actually picked four myself. I got very Versailles because I've been wanting that one since I saw Kylie Bertucci make a um, really simple card with it. And then I wanted, for all of my son's school friends, I've been, I wanted it for myself too, I'm lying if I said, um, which is Leave a Little Sparkle, that's the unicorn one. And I was going to get Stargazing, but I held off on that one for now. But I also got, what's the other one? The Chicken Wire one. Mm, all wired up, the background stamp. So those are the stamps that I'm ordering. And then I also ordered a bunch of paper because... I have a couple papers that almost every time I make something, I'm like, oh, I'm almost out of, which is kind of funny because anybody else have like a cardstock that they hardly ever use. So mine, one that I don't think I use a lot, but I end up using in like spurts is pear pizzazz. So I have almost no pear pizzazz left, but the other one that I have, does anybody have a color that like everybody loves? but they never use. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Denise. I meant to say that refills for the paper pumpkin, they will not have refills because apparently they sold so many of them that I they're not they're not going to have the kits for sale. And the refills, they're not sure they're going to have enough. So they said they're going to be, I believe, waiting until a later date to release the refills. Mint. You don't like mint? Wow. That's, that's one of my top colors, especially with the pumpkin paper. One of my, I actually have two that I hardly ever use. Rich Razzleberry. Just never, it's not, well, it's not my favorite color. Rich Razzleberry and then um, one of the pinks. Like, I don't know if it's Blushing Bride or Petal Pink. One of them has just the strangest hue to it that when you stamp with it, and I have to say, I'm not a big fan of Rococo Rose. It's a very difficult color for me to use. Suzanne Grape, oh, I love Grapefruit Groove. It's a great orange. You don't like mint, Donna. You're hilarious. <laughs> All right. Hi, Rhonda from Henderson, Nevada. Thanks for joining. Okay, so today I may have to keep this short and simple. I do have a beverage here so I don't cough my head off. So, um, Petal Pink. That might be the one too because I have two pinks that have like hardly any left and I'm like, yeah, I'm not even going to order them over again. But Rich Razzleberry, I really have a hard time. And I do love Mint too, Marty. That's one of my favorites. It must be the Petal Pink then. One of them is just a very unusual color. I love Cajun Craze. That's one of my favorites too, especially this time of year. So I got out a couple um, couple stamp sets and um, dies and folders because I'm not really exactly sure what I... I wasn't sure, first of all, if I'd be able to do a live today because I was so sick yesterday. I didn't think I'd be able to talk today. So I picked out three folders 
So three folders. And then I picked out, ooh, one other thing. Today, <clears throat> Magnolia, there's a bulk Magnolia DSP that we have for sale. I'm sorry, I'm looking over here. I'm supposed to be looking over there. That we have had for sale as demonstrators. And basically it's um, four so it's two sheets, they're double-sided, that they give you way more cardstock in. I believe it is $17, but it's available in the online store today. So if you love the Magnolia paper, or maybe you have a lot of cards that you need to make, it's a great way. It's not everyone in the pack, but it's a great way if you need to get a bunch of stuff done. And it's got two with really pretty designs on it. Um, it's available in the online store today. I'll rest later, Fran, but thank you. <laughs> so just thinking of the, with the Good Morning Magnolia, I got this out and the dyes and then the Verdant Garden. And then I also got the Gather Together and the Harvest Hello. So I'm not quite sure which I'm going to use or what I'm going to do today. But my idea was that I wanted to do a card that has um, like a peek through window sheet in it. And I want to try to heat emboss on it. So that was my goal for today. So we'll see. I'm going to attempt that. Let me take my jacket off. I'm getting hot now that I'm talking. Getting all nervous because you're looking at my face. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to flip you. So if you get sick, I apologize. I'm going to take you off of this one mount and put you on a different one. Let me move this here. Excuse me. All right. If you get sick, hold tight. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Here we go. Okay, so all the stamp sets are listed. Some of them are listed as the cling and the wood, so that's why you'll see two of them on a few of them. Um, I think that's pretty much it, but that lists all online. All right, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go with the... <coughs> pardon me. I think I'm going to go with the... Magnolia because I want to try one of these, which I haven't used these that much. Keep that out. All right. So if you don't hear any talking, I'm just going to attempt to not talk too, too much. I'm going to go with a mossy meadow background and then a window sheet. might already be cut. You know what? I need a different one. I need a lengthwise card. So I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter. Or score it. No. Cut it at four and a quarter. five and a half and then I think I'm gonna score this let's see Move this up. I think I want to go with so five and a half I think I'm gonna do two inches here. All right, so I'm going to trim this at two and a quarter. I'm going to cut off. So I'll have two and a quarter here. And then the middle piece, let's see, three and three quarters. I'm going to cut this one at two and a quarter. That way we have a big window sheet. Okay. So I am going to cover this with some DSP. Thank you. 
use this one. Okay, so I'm going to trim this down just a little. So we'll do this at four. And then I'm just going to do two inches, two pieces of two inches. So this is 12, we'll do 10. Make sure that's, nope, you know what? I think I measured this one differently. Hold on. Yeah, that's not two inches. What am I thinking? Hold on one second. Let's see. One and three quarters. Okay, I thought so. So this is going to be one and a half. Oops. So one and a half, and I think this is one and a quarter. Okay, so this one is going to be four by one and a half. This piece is four by one and a quarter. And then I'm gonna grab a window sheet scrappy pieces so I'm going to see if I can use one of those nope. not quite wide enough all right so I'm going to cut this down now I do want this to be the same width so it's going to completely overlay so I'm going to cut this to four and a quarter. Mm, now it doesn't need to be exactly five and a half because we're only really filling in this middle space here. So that's probably about mm, two and a half. I'm going to make this two and three quarters just to be safe. Oops, I should have held it. I didn't hold that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay this over like that. And then this is going to hold it in place. I wonder if that's going to be wide enough. Might have undercut it just slightly. Nah, that'll be good. We're going to do that. If it doesn't work out, I will tell you to so cut yours a little bit bigger. All right, so my intention is to heat emboss something on this. I am going to tell you one thing. I've been watching a lot of heat embossing videos. You definitely want to make sure that your heat gun is turned on and really, really hot because the less time it's going to be on this, the less time it's going to warp. So this is Stampin' Up's window sheet. I do have another one I will try. I'm not going to be able to do it today, but I have another one I will try at a later date to see if it works better or differently. Um, in the meantime, let's see. I'm going to put... <coughs> you can do one of two things. We can either stamp one of these and cut it out, but sorry, I couldn't grab my paper pack there. I thought it was going to fall over. You can also die cut these, uh, some of these magnolias from here. So I'm going to actually die cut some of these. I'm just going to do two. If you don't have this paper, you could stamp them and color them. But I'm going to die cut two of these just to make it a little simpler on myself today. So I'm just going to run this through the die cut machine twice.
I also did another cool video, by the way, a while back, where I used this paper to make the floating frame, but I just used all these pieces instead. They cut out really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna grab one more. And this one, I'm just gonna do a half one on this piece. So even though this is a partial, we're going to use that one too. All right. So I have been wanting to do this embossing for some time, but I'm afraid I'm going to warp the paper. <clears throat> so I just haven't done it. So I'm going to try doing the thing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat tool on. That way it is screaming hot. I'm going to do the thanks. And we'll see. So... A couple things you really have to make sure that you hit your embossing or use your embossing buddy on your um where's my pad go on your window sheet because it's really staticky so make sure you really go over that you can always clean it off with a swiffer but you want to cut down on the static as much as possible <clears throat> Grab my Versamark and I'm going to do um, gold, gold embossing powder. You know, it might be cool with white now that I think of it. I'm going to stick with gold since that's what I said. Okay, so I'm letting that heat up for a little bit. When you're doing embossing on window sheet, it does tend to wiggle. So you want to make sure that when you put your embossing sheet down that you're really very deliberate with your stamp because otherwise it could smooge all over the place. So let's see if this works. Okay. All right, here we go. It really did feel super wiggly, so hopefully it's a clean one. Ooh, turned out pretty good so far. All right, so I'm gonna bring this back in so you can see this when it happens. So heat tool is super hot, so I'm going to keep this moving because I'm going to try my best not to warp the paper. It should melt really quick. Yep. Now this, I'm going to give this a second to cool off. It is melted, if you can see that. It's melted on there, but I want to let it cool before I wipe just to be sure. And it is just a slight bit warped, but it, I thought it was going to be way worse. Okay. And looks like I did get a little bit of splatter from my embossing powder. I probably should have checked it with a brush. <coughs> so I do have a little bit of splatters down here, but that's okay. We're going to leave that as part of the card for today. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to put this together and close this up. By the way, Rainbow Stamper is feeling world's better course because you know kids recover at light speed especially once they've shared it with an adult <laughs> all right so I'm gonna put some um, tear and tape on the back of this because I really want to make sure it sticks 
So I'm gonna put tear and tape on the back of this. Oops, there's a little piece. Let's hold on. There it is. And I'm gonna try to come down here a little bit close to the bottom. I probably should have been a little bit more mindful of where I stamped this, but I'm kind of hanging off the paper here, so do that hopefully it will be down far enough you won't be able to see it yeah. maybe we will see all right so I'm going to put this one on first so again I'm just attempting to line it up so if I were you I'm going to just say this just for now for future reference cut your paper a little bit bigger than I did. So I cut mine, remember it was four and a quarter by two and three quarters. Make it a little bigger, that way you can tape without the tape being in the way necessarily. Hopefully this will be out of the way. I'm just gonna put my cardstock piece down at the bottom. It's just the base card here. Make sure it's all the way down there so it's nice and square. And tape, holy cow, is this crooked? Oh geez, does look a little crooked. Well, once we put the paper on, hopefully it'll be fine. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna put, let's see, I might need to make this bigger. Yep, I'm gonna have to make that one bigger by a little bit at least, all right. I'm gonna recut this piece here because I want it to cover up that Part down there. This one will be big enough. Let's see, is that too big? Uh, that's just a little bit. I'm just kind of gently laying this on top first. Oh, and you know, I don't like that. It needs to cover the whole thing. All right, I'm going to take this off. So don't mind this. I'm going to put this on the side. I'll use that for something else later. I'm going to actually go back and retrim this. Instead of it being four, I'm going to go to. Um, four and a quarter so it covers the whole so it covers the whole sheet all right so let me go to four and a quarter because of that piece there it just doesn't look as good as I would want it to Lose this one again this one and a half let me try this again I'm gonna go just a hair over Let's see. That's not so bad. All right, and then this one, in order for this to be up a little bit, and I did put this on crooked, so I'm going to trim this up. I have to do a little bit of doctoring on this one. So I'm going to end up making this. Sweet Jesus, look at that. I'm going to end up cutting this right here. So I'm gonna kinda do something I don't normally do. I'm gonna eyeball this and I'm actually gonna put a pencil mark here and cut. <laughs> yes, this is me at my sickest, right? Probably shouldn't be making cards because I'm, I'm wasting paper, it's okay. All right, and I'm gonna take this little piece that I creased and fold that down. All right, and this one, I think I want this to be a little bit bigger. So let's see, Let me get out my measuring tape. So I'm gonna make this one and three quarters. Boy, we're going the long way around this card today. sure this looks better with the lining up that's pretty good all right 
and this one is too. And I have this little teeny piece here that picked up a piece of, um, it picked up a little piece of paper underneath. It ripped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this together first and then I'm going to get this smoothed down just a little bit, which is clearly where I went off track. So I'm going to try to line that up to the corner down there. And same down here. And press. Okay. There's one. And then this one is the other one. Is that right? That's right. Okay. I have to rename my site craftingwithacold.com for all those times you've made cards and they didn't turn out correctly. You can blame it on your cold or your cold medicine. And I'm just lining this up just slightly below the fold there. All right. So this was definitely different than I anticipated. Now I'm going to try to see if I can just slightly move this adhesive down because I don't want it to keep sticking to that paper and ripping. So just kind of rolling it down onto the edge of the um, cardstock. Just that little piece that was sticking out and then I'm just going to roll it off. So that way we don't have that there any longer. Okay, so now we're obviously going to have to put a panel on the inside. Let me get a drink. And then we're going to add these two little flowers. You can put one of them so it kind of looks like it's peeking through. And then this one I'm going to put I don't want a partial and actually I'm going to put <laughs> that rains it pours doesn't it there you go okay all right so I do need a panel for the inside because otherwise it makes it a little difficult to see the thanks part okay <laughs> <laughs> Too early for tequila. I don't know at this point. I don't really think it is Gail. All right <coughs> Let me let me trim up Don't make me laugh. Let me trim this up. I will tell you I had um, the other night when I went to bed. This was Monday night. I made a hot toddy Which I've never had one before but you know, I often hear about Older the older older generation none of you ladies, you know people that are really older older like my grandparents up there and their my grandparents would now be a hundred and something so those kind of oldies talking about how great hot toddies were and I will tell you I've had an awesome night's sleep there we go I'm gonna put I'm gonna finish this on the inside I did have a great night's sleep I woke up with drool down my face so so we said thanks not only for what you do for being someone so special I'll put that on the inside and then while I'm at it I'm gonna add just a couple of these little flowers. So I'm gonna do a little bit of coloring. I'm gonna set this on the side. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna do it with the uh, blends. Pick this one up first. Pick this one up. So I'm gonna stamp this with the blend. So I'm gonna stamp this with Memento ink. I'm going to do one at the top. I think my memento needs to be re-inked a little bit. And one at the bottom. I'm going to let those dry. In the meantime, I'll add my sentiment in the center. <coughs> I think I'm going to stick with Mossy Meadow. All right, so let's see. We were to eyeball this. So if we put this here, you're going to kind of be able to see it. 
which I think is kind of going to throw it off a little bit. So I'm going to try to squeeze it in down here at the bottom. We'll see if it works. That's not too bad. Probably could have evaluated the positioning of that a little better before I stamp my flowers, but no big deal. Okay. So, let me just hit this real quick with the heat tool. <laughs> See, Danette? There you go. Never too young for a hot toddy, right? <laughs> or flip it if not. There you go. See, that's the beauty of not have stuck it down yet. That's a good point. All right, so I'm going to stick with Mossy Meadow. I believe I have both of those for the leaves. And, oh, where's our favorite? Flirty Flamingo. Yeah. I'm going to do Petal Pink, you know, the one we all were talking about how much we loved. All right, so I'm going to start with the light. I usually start with the light blends because for me, I think it works better personally. So I'm going to start with the light and then go to the dark. I'll do the green first. Don't have to have thick Whisper White on this necessarily. But make sure that you won't be able to see the other side because these do bleed through. I usually just tend to put a side that is my shaded side. It may not be correct, but. And then I'm gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna do the dark first on the petal pink and then bring in the light. with the dark. Okay, so it gives a little dimension. As you can clearly see, I am not at all being precise with this. Especially with the light colors, it is pretty forgiving. When you go dark, it's kind of hard to get the light back into it. So I dip typically start with the, the lighter unless you're using a light color such as this. So it's pretty. Now you could do one of two things. You could um, like spray this with a shimmer spray that you have, but since it's a smaller space, I'm gonna just use some Wink of Stella and just put some sparkle on the flowers. So um, as I did mention, I do have another window sheet that I got that is a not Stampin' Up! window sheet. So I am going to try to emboss on that just to see if it does give me a better end result. So I will let you know um, when I do that video. I might actually try and save that for another time when I can do a live. That way we can see the difference between the two. Because the Stampin' Up! window sheet is a little bit thin. So it definitely already kind of feels a little wobbly. It doesn't have that heavy feel of a heavy card. But 
Oh, actually, look, the sentiment ended up completely below there. So that worked out really well. And I did make this just a little bit crooked. So I'm going to just trim this off with my scissors because I lined this one up just a hair, hair off. Just a hair. I mean, really, literally just a hair, but pretty cute card. I think if I would have thought about it, I would have definitely changed <coughs> the size of my window sheet that I used so I could have taped it a little higher and then maybe I wouldn't have had to I could have had that layer wrap around like I wanted to to have the framing of the color but I still think for, this is only the second time I've ever heat embossed onto the window sheet it does look pretty it's pretty pretty card and then again we saved a little time by cutting out the flowers out of the DSP that's the Magnolia DSP so <coughs> oh excuse my coughing I hope you all enjoyed this card today I know it was rather quick live this morning but thank you guys as always for joining um i will attempt to do a youtube live tomorrow if you don't already follow me there so stay tuned for that that is my plan as long as i'm not coughing worse or more annoyingly um if you haven't already i am on youtube at rach the stamper you can always also find me on instagram pinterest and uh, my blog is reachthestamper.com so don't forget if there's any stamp set that you really were um aching to get your hands on there is the 24-hour stamp sta stamp sale it is valid today through um midnight only so there's lots of great stuff on there and if you're ordering sometimes it's nice to check your paper stash to make sure you're not getting ready to run out of something or your favorite color which is coastal cabana can you believe i only had three sheets of that left that's the one i definitely had to order that's why i went through and checked all my paper <laughs> after that so thank you guys very much for joining if you have any questions as always you can shoot me an email you can leave me a comment here on facebook um again this will go live onto youtube so for you all who are watching this on YouTube after the fact, um, the 24 hour sale does end on 10, 23, 19 at midnight. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you again real soon. I hope you have a great day.